Hi, I'm here today to help you with your using a vertical number line to measure liquid input page. Looks like this. If you don't have it in front of you right now, go get it and come back to the video. Okay, now that we're ready. It is helpful to measure liquid using a blank, a vertical number line. Or you could say graduated cylinder, or a beaker, a labeled beaker, but the graduated cylinder and the labeled beaker are just containers that have a vertical number line on them. So a vertical number line is a number line that instead of going across, goes up and down, but it starts at zero and it gets higher as you go higher. Okay, um, let's read our next sentence. As more liquid is added to the beaker, the place on the number line goes up. We only have a tiny place to write there. Luckily, up is a tiny word. Okay, so let's read these beakers. Uh, the blue is the liquid and we count from where it is in the front. I know it sticks up kind of in the back. Um, that's just the artist's way of showing that it's in the whole beaker. Okay, so you'll see that the blue goes up past 50, past 100, all the way up to 400 milliliters. So we can put a 400 in there. Notice that the milliliters were given for us only this time. So we're going to have to write that from now on. Okay, next to it, where does the blue go up? Up, 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 up to 300. So in this beaker, there are 300 milliliters. Okay, next one right here, up to 200 milliliters. Right here, this one is not very full at all. Only up to 50 milliliters. All of ours in this case um, ended on the exact number that's shown, but you can show it um, halfway by just coloring up a little bit farther. And we are gonna have the chance to do that when we color, so that's good. Okay, our next one, we need to show 350 milliliters by coloring this in. Okay, so I'm gonna make my line at 350 and I'm gonna color in everything below that. And if you have a pencil, you can probably do a better job than I can with this pen. I'm gonna fill it in as much as I can. Okay. And 125, so now we get to where it's not exactly on a number, but 125 is halfway between 100 and 150. So I'm gonna draw my line halfway in between. Oh, uh, oh. I did my best. And I'm gonna color everything below that line. Which makes sense, the liquid wouldn't go above the line. All right. So, pretty easy lesson, I hope. You are now ready to tackle your output page. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.